discussing about the control engineering subject the module third block di uh, block diagram reduction problems so this is the third problem as already we have completed to uh, completed two problems were there i have shared the link in the description box you can also avail those videos where i have mentioned uh, rules also rules for reducing the block diagrams so this is the third problem and this will be the last problem which i will be uh, doing here just because there are a lot of problems which you have to practice and i have made these uh, handwritten notes i will uh, share the telegram link also while you you can avail uh, these type of notes over there okay so let's start this problem this is the summing point this is the g1 block g2 g3 these are the forward paths summing point and this is the feedback point feedback point so if you are observing here dear friends where we are eliminating the figure if there is the canonical form means uh, one summing point and one feedback point that is called the minor loop and in between there should be one forward path and one feedback path so this is called as minor loop so i can reduce it by uh, eliminating a minor loop by uh, what we call introducing the formula that is eliminating minor loop rest of the diagram i will just kept as it is okay summing point g1 h2 okay this is g3 and g2 and this is your takeoff point t2 this is your takeoff point t1 okay summing point so when i just reduce this diagram i will get the formula g of s upon 1 plus g of s h of s so g of s is here g of 4 so that is g4 upon 1 plus g of s is again g4 okay and then feedback is h1 so h1 here okay i hope you are uh, understanding these concepts over here now this is all about the minor loop now if you are observing dear friends here is the takeoff point uh, and summing point i cannot shift this uh, takeoff point uh, uh, in front of the summing point just because this is the critical rule i should apply critical rule only when there is no possibility so here i can shift it behind the block okay i have already uh, mentioned and i have already explained this very well in the beginning of the videos itself so you can go through the deep you can go, go through deeply in the concepts if you want to understand this okay so we, i cannot apply critical rules so better is to shift this takeoff point t2 to in uh, sorry behind the g2 block okay so shifting takeoff point t2 behind block g2 okay whenever you are shifting this uh, takeoff point behind the block you should add one uh, sorry this block value that is g2 you should add uh, here in the feed, feedback line itself okay so shifting takeoff point what i will get this is summing point g1 is same g3 and g2 is also same this takeoff point i am shifting here with the t1 so i will get here as a takeoff point and one more thing which i mentioned here that is you should add a block value that is g2 whenever you add g2 block value here here if you add g2 block value that block value is uh, in series with the h2 that is why i have written here g2 h2 when there are blocks in series you have to combine it in the multiplication form g2 into h2 so you are getting here okay rest of the things are same so rest of the things are same okay so now if you are observing here dear friends uh, it is the summing point and one feedback point and this is the forward path and feedback path so this is called as minor loop i can just eliminate minor loop and also these two blocks are in parallel i can combine these two also okay so let us see what will happen so this is your combining block in parallel and eliminate minor loop this is your step third so i have combined the minor loop by introducing formula g of s upon one plus g of s h of s okay then combining uh, those two blocks in parallel so simply adding them g2 plus g3 and then uh, g4 by one plus g4 h1 as it is uh, and finally output function now these blocks are in uh, series you can easily combine it by multiplying uh, these uh, terminologies here so combining blocks in series you will get g1 g2 and uh, what we call plus g3 and g4 you have to multiply it so g1 g2 g4 g1 g2 g4 then plus is here g1 g3 g4 okay g1 g3 g4 uh, divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 multiplied by this 1 plus g4 h1 so i will get here 1 into 1 that is 1 plus 1 into this g4 h1 so g4 h1 plus g1 g2 h2 into 1 that is g1 g2 h2 plus g1 g2 h2 into g4 h1 so g1 g2 g4 h1 h2 you will get here so transfer ratio transfer function is nothing but c of s upon r of s uh, is here you are getting g1 g2 g4 plus g1 g3 g4 upon this term 1 plus g4 h1 
plus g1 h g1 g2 h2 plus g1 g2 g4 h1 h2 so this is all about this problem dear friends these are very simpler ones only thing is you should remember those seven rules which is applicable for these uh, problems uh, to reduce them into a simpler or canonical form by eliminating minor loops combining blocks in series combining blocks in parallel shifting of takeoff points or shifting of su summing points it will be better for you to solve a lot of problems so i have written uh, at least eight problems in these particular notes uh, i will just share the link in the description box dear friends so that you can avail these uh, control engineering model third notes okay so in the next video we will just uh, di uh, discuss about the signal flow graphs i hope this is beneficial video for you people make sure you will share it with your all batchmates who actually needed it thank you